Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are on the cusp of the last, final, and probably one of the most hype parts of Team of the Season, and that is Ultimate Team of the Season. I wanted to look at some market movements today that we might see coming in the next couple of days as Ultimate Team of the Season is here. Now I realize we're still in the middle of League One tots. We had rewards today, people packing their reds. Of course, tweet me those rewards. I'd love to see those. Um, what you guys got from those probably you guys are doing what i said in earlier videos i'm going to talk about this again today what we should be doing on the market right now to get ready for ultimate tots because ultimate tots is kind of the culmination if you think of it this way it's almost the culmination of fifa 18 like this is the end of the hype most hype or second hype i mean uh, i don't know how you would rate team this season that's up to your personal discretion but it's one of the most hype promos in foot and this is the last part of it, which everybody gets pumped up for because the best of the best of the TOTS players that we have seen for the past month are now in packs all at the same time. Everybody gets hyped for it. People do upgrade packs, people do SBCs. There's guaranteed SBCs. So I wanna talk about a lot of that stuff today. We're gonna to go more in depth on some of the SBC type part of this promo uh, of Ultimate TOTS. Um, and we're gonna look at investing. It's just gonna be like a market talk video where we look at what's gonna happen over the the course of ultimate tots at least according to me and how i see it um because i have a few things in mind according to how the market looks right now that might uh be some some good ways to make money and i'm going to be honest with you just saying that um because first of all when i think of ultimate team of the season we have all those the, the best cards are in packs so you know you go look at your concept squads of, of of tots we got Bundesliga tots, La Liga tots, Premier League tots, Syria tots, or Calcio A tots, Syria, same thing, League One. You you have all of these team of the seasons that are basically built up into one. You're gonna have this Hazard card coming back into packs. So he's like 2.8 million coins right now. You're gonna have Aguero coming back into packs. You're gonna have a Bamiang. That's actually a pretty sizable undercut. Uh, never mind. It's, I mean, some of these cards you're going to have come back into packs, and that's obviously going to affect their price. Um, it just depends on, you know, some of these cards aren't going to get in. You know, probably a guy like Lacazette, he doesn't get in, but he's 1. Point whatever mil, 1.2 mil, 1.1 mil right now. You're probably not going to see him uh, stay at that same price because you have this Aguero card who is rated higher than him, valued more than him, 96 rated, better stats as well. He's 1.7 mil. You know, he might drop down to 1.2, 1.3 from Ultimate Tots. So the cards that get into Ultimate Tots are obviously going to drop because that is new uh, supply. That is more supply for those cards on the market to be packed and for um, them to, to actually be on the market. So it makes sense that those cards would drop, but it also changes the value of the way the market values these Tots cards because they're becoming more um, available on the market. There's more supply. And people, people view ultimate tots like this is another. This is a big time period where a lot of teams are going to be built. Some people, almost including myself, have been waiting until ultimate tots to see what they can get, how low the prices get, and then they're going to buy kind of their their final team, their final big team, and then ride out with it for the rest of FIFA. That's kind of how stuff goes, and. From that, there's going to be a lot of ways to invest this week in terms of buying meta players that link, you know, the best players in each position. Um, other tots cards are going to be good to link with, or good to buy, um, and especially some of the most demand cards in the game, like Mbappe's, Neymar's, the versions of those. Um, you know, Lala as well. Maybe his headliner card after the tots is back. In, I don't know if the tots will get re-released. It depends on how they value if they go by position, the highest rating per position. Or what they do with that but the tots cards are going to drop so i'm going to look through tots cards we already kind of talked about those i want to talk about the rest of the market and then of course sbc stuff as well now team of the season let's look at uh team of the season league one who's going to get into ultimate tots from league one neymar 100 percent mbappe 100 percent and then from there it's kind of a big question mark there's a lot of 95 to 96 rated tots that could get in you know think of the premier league you have sun you have Mane, who's at 94. Um, you have a lot of 95 rated Tots. Even Di Maria and Cavani are 95 rated. Thiago Silva, Marquinhos as well. They might not get in because there's other center backs. You have Van Dyke. 
you know, you have guys like that who are high rated center backs that could get in over them. I'm not here to talk about who's going to get in. They're all going to drop in price. Let's be honest. They're all going to drop in price. Um, but a guy like Pepe, if he doesn't get in, his price is still going to drop just because of the fact that the, the market is going to value these cards a lot differently. Now, let me say this. Since these cards are going to drop, and I talked about this in my video yesterday, if you have any Team of the Season cards left, Syria, um, League One, um, any of these cards, some of them are down quite a bit. Nine going at 1.1. I mean, he's down 300K, 400K from where he was just last week in packs. I mean, take the money on these cards now because Nine Golan probably isn't going to get re-released, but he's still probably going to go down. He's not the most meta card. He is a good card, but he's not like the best of the best, you know? He's not the best of the best, and when the best of the best start getting cheaper, people will sell those cards to have a good chance to get the best of the best. So, you know, a guy like Suarez, a guy like Messi, probably going to get in. You know, maybe even Benzema gets in because he's 96 rated. PK could get in. 96 rated um, center back, one of the highest rated center backs. Probably Griezmann's gonna get in. You know, stuff like that's gonna happen this week on foot, and a lot of these card prices are gonna drop. So if you haven't sold your team of the season cards yet, I would say get them out. I don't think anything is gonna rise from where it is right now until after Ultimate Tots. I don't think anything is gonna rise from the price point that it is at right now. I don't think it's gonna go higher. A lot of selling off in the next couple of days. And really, you have a good chance to get out today on Thursday because people are kind of buying teams. Uh, but it's also still in that time period where, hey, people are probably getting ready for Ultimate Tots as well. Maybe even selling some of their cards um, to go and do that. Now, I will say a little bit of Ultimate Tots does depend on what happens with Weekend League Rewards. Currently, as I go and look at Weekend League Rewards, it says Ultimate Team of the Week Pack, which is not what we want at all. We want the Ultimate tots pack we don't want the ultimate team of the week pack so zaro tweeted out today and he said and i looked at this on stream just a little bit ago he said the correct placement will be in here and then i am really scared that this might actually be team of the week pack this might change before the video goes live but just a couple hours ago when i was streaming i first looked at it and there was nothing down there it was blank now it says team of the week so if they're actually putting team of the week cards and they're not putting ultimate tots cards into the red player picks that is a massive L uh, for FIFA, and that's going to make the market drop even more because there is literally zero motivation to play Weekend League. The only motivation to play Weekend League would be because you get you could pack those cards from your rewards, but not in red picks. So there would still be a little bit of motivation, and people are used to playing Weekend League, but I think you could see prices drop more because a lot of people would just say, screw it, I'm out. FIFA's done. I'm honestly thinking that this is this is the end of this team of the season promo is a, where you're going to see a lot of people just ditch FIFA or if they hype it up, they have a good promo, you might see it last a couple more weeks. You need to buy this card for an SBC to complete. 35k, I don't want to spend that much. See if we can find one on an open bid. I'll just watch this one. But um, continuing on with that, just sell your TOTS cards, get them out, and then hopefully they change these rewards to Team of the Season. If it's not Ultimate TOTS, it's going to be probably a disaster. Now, Ultimate TOTS does have the possibility to be a pretty sick Team of the Season in terms of SBC content because we might get some SBCs that we thought should have been in Team of the Season that maybe they're saving some of these SBCs for the end. Guys have thrown out names like Lozano, like Paul Pogba, um, and some other guys that have gotten snubbed from Team of the Season that they thought should have gotten in. It's a possibility that we get those SBCs during Ultimate Team of the Season. So that's one thing to watch out for. And since those SBCs will be out, and yes, people will be doing upgrade packs to pack TOTS cards, they won't be getting the same TOTS cards from those packs. Like, you know, the pack weight obviously isn't going to be as high. But if you look at League One, you pack all but, you know, five or six of these cards, maybe seven or eight of them, and you're probably going to do an SBC with it, you know? Guys, especially down here on the bottom, Magnon, Atal, Bamba, Mendy, uh, not Mendy, Falvin, Delort, Kasri, like those guys you're going to put into an SBC, but you're not going to have those players from Ultimate Tots. All the players from Ultimate Tots are going to be like good players that you're going to want to actually use in your team, not put an SBC. So that's going to put some more demand for some high-rated golds. And if we look at high-rated golds right now, 
89s are at 30, they're under 40K. That is very low. And some of these guys are going to go out of packs for ultimate tots. If you're a high rated gold investor, and if you're honestly anybody in general, take a look at these cards right here. Especially, I see Griezmann and Aguero. Buy one of these cards, throw it in your club, do a club stock for some of these really high rated because maybe you want to do an icon SBC. Maybe they put out a Pogba SBC that requires some 87 or 88 rated squads. And the guaranteed ultimate tots SBC is probably going to require an 87 or an 88 rating with a couple tots, one or two tots. So I would look at stocking your club with some of these cards. 87s are decently low. You'd like to get those under, under 20K if you can. 86s are just still a little bit high. I like to see those. I like to see a majority of them at 16K instead of 18K. Get them at 15 if you can. But the 88s and 89s for sure. There hasn't been a lot of emphasis. That's why these cards are low right now. There hasn't been a lot of emphasis on these cards because nobody needs them for, for crafting SBCs like an LR or even for icons because you're getting to do these SBCs, you're doing them with TOTS cards from upgrade packs. Most people are. You throw a 92 to 94 rated TOTS card into an SBC, even if it's an 89 rated SBC, you might only need one or two more 89s to complete that SBC. And then the rest you can throw in, you know, 86s, 87s, 85s. Whereas for most of the squads, like an 87 rated, you throw in a 92 rated TOTS, you're filling in the rest with 84s and 85s. You're not even coming close to needing an 89 rated player to throw into that SBC. But during Ultimate TOTS, there aren't going to be those players that you're going to pack and want to throw in an SBC. Every player that you're going to want to pack, it's going to be a player of value. I mean, it's the best of the best team of the season players. So I think these are a pretty good investment. Now, obviously, you're banking on SBCs coming out, but I think there's going to be some decent SBCs that do come out during Ultimate Tot. So that's a pretty safe investment. I am actually going to go look at some of these high-rated golds right now, and especially for a guy like Griezmann or Aguero, you're going to want to get on these before they go out of packs because, you know, there's a lot of people out there that like to buy cards when they go out of packs. 34 k for Griezmann. I'm going to send that to the club. That could easily be 50 k out of packs because of SBCs in the next week. That's all I'm going to do with that one. I'm not going to go hard on these. I'm not really a gold card investor, to be honest. It's just not who I am. I'll buy an Aguero for, what did, uh, what did this say Aguero was? It said Aguero was 38. You know, I'll wait on the Aguero. I'll wait on the Aguero. That's a decent one, but we'll wait on him for now. So that's the kind of stuff you're going to want to look at. It's probably going to be a good time to club stock some of the high rated golds. And especially this weekend, if you see that the pack weight is really high for the high rated, and you see these down at 15K, you see these down at 8 to 9K, and you see these under 20K, that's going to be a good time to do a club stock for the rest of the high rated gold cards. Get them in your club and be ready for whatever SBCs could come out during Ultimate Team of the Season. So now I talked about some of that stuff. I want to mention one thing as well. There are some people that are constantly plugging away at foot swap, and this month for foot swap there is a icon, a mid icon pack. So with these tots cards dropping in price, you're probably going to see some icons drop in price because you know somebody who's been using a middle Cruyff all year um, might just go out and sell that card because they know they can get how much is that card like 1.2 mil, 1.1 mil? How much is middle Cruyff on Xbox right now? 1.1 million coins flat right there. So he's 1.1 million coins. Well, they might see, oh shoot, I can go buy this. I can go buy X Tots card, whatever Tots card. I've been using this card for so long. He's going to drop because of the middle icon stuff, which is coming in about a week, a little more than a week. And also there's going to be all these Tots cards that are dropped in price and they're a lot cheaper. So the icons I do think could drop. This could be an opportunity if you're looking to get a primer icon definitely an opportunity to go and maybe get one of those cards. They're very rare. They're on the market still, but Ultimate Tots is probably going to provide an opportunity for some of them to come back up as people go out and maybe try some Tots cards again, do SBCs, you know, stuff like that. So this is kind of like a last, the last hurrah for a big promo in foot. It really is. Um, I'm not going to lie. This is a big week on FIFA because of that matter. And it really matters what they do with the content. Like, me seeing, wow, Eusebio, 5 million. He's gone back down a lot. What you see now with the start of this Ultimate Tots not looking so good because we don't see these cards in rewards. Ultimate Team of the Week pack. That's not what we want, man. 
we won ultimate team of the season pack so that's that's very interesting i know that maybe they're not doing the ultimate the the ultimate team of the week or the ultimate team of the season packs because that would require a lot or that would give out a ton of coins but who cares it's the end of fifa yes people are going to make a ton of coins off of that rewards um but maybe they're just going to put the player pick special items in there so i'm guessing they're going to put some of those cards in there but maybe they're keeping the team of the week pack because they just think that's above the their threshold we've heard them use that term before that might be above their threshold for how much coins they can release onto the market so maybe they realize what they did with uh, premier league tots releasing some some players getting 10 million coins from their elite rewards, which is ridiculous to think about. Um, but they, they knew that this time around it would be even more coins. So they just said, we're not going to do it. No ultimate team in the season pack for you. So that's going to be an interesting thing to watch. That's going to be decided, of course, by the time this video goes live. I'll be watching that closely, though, because it looks like it is going to be ultimate team of the week pack, which kind of sucks. Uh, but you still should get the team of the season cards in your rewards um and that's that's kind of the main thing people want to get those reds for sure but again this week on the market uh we'll talk a little bit of, more about this for the friday morning upload we're gonna have some more panic more panic selling on these tots cards probably as people anticipate them getting into ultimate team of the season and then the card prices are going to drop a lot over the weekend as they're in packs as we maybe get a guaranteed spc and who knows maybe even for they release the best of uh, ultimate tots for the lower leagues maybe we get Liga Nos, Eredivisie players re-released back into packs at the same time that would add some hype onto the game so I'm excited for ultimate tots if you do have tots players still I'd say get them out unless they're like um like maybe a Bernardo Silva you could keep some guys like Robert Robertson and maybe Laporte maybe Ederson some of those cards might stay low like Savonier from this week like his card price probably isn't going to move too much. He might drop like 20 or 30k. Same with Verratti. Like those cards that aren't used too much that are just purely SBCs usage. You know, he, he gets a little bit of usage, but at all, you don't have to worry about these guys, the SBC guys, uh, their, their card prices. But for the meta cards, the cards that everybody wants to use, we should see a lot of stuff going down. And then I would see, I would think we get a rebound coming out of next weekend. Excuse me. And coming out of this coming weekend as it's like people's last chance to buy their big teams to buy some of those primer icons that i just looked at maybe to buy their highest rated version that they can of cristiano ronaldo uh, i haven't had cristiano in my club more than just the gold card this year i would love to get the team of the year or the team of the season so we're gonna have to keep watch on that as well maybe i can afford one of these cards after i sell all my weekend league flips this week and get pretty liquid and then, of course, the upgrade packs that will come next week as well. It's a big question mark. Are they going to do them? How are they going to release them? Hopefully, it's like Team of the Year. Um, so there's a lot of question marks around Ultimate Tots and, of course, the SBCs, stuff like that. But it's going to be one last hype week of Team of the Season. So I'm excited to be there with you guys. If you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.